you guys oh my gosh I feel like it's been so long since I've done a proper vlog oh it's been a crazy couple of weeks because I was working on that ebook for authors the how to launch and promote your first book on a zero dollar budget just I finished the content for it earlier this week and then have spent the last few days kind of promoting it on social media and through email and stuff so it's been kind of exhausting and I was going through these phases while working on it where I was just feeling like really self-defeated and not getting it done quick enough and just kind of berating myself for maybe it not you know working on it as frequently as I should have and then I had this moment of elation when I finished it and I was excited and couldn't wait to get it out into the world hang on you have to see this view though before I continue as I was saying after the elation period then I launched the book the ebook and because I I haven't promoted myself as this book promotion person before and I only spent about four weeks building up to the the promotion of this book this ebook that I worked on I didn't really have much of an audience built up for it that's specific for it so needless to say it's not doing as well as I'd hoped and to be honest with you I was banking on the success of the sales of this book to get me to Costa Rica so I could buy my flight there and it's looking like that's not going to happen now so unless there's a miracle and someone somewhere purchases a bunch of copies or something like that then it looks like I need to find somewhere else to go but I have some prospects in mind of places that where I want to spend the month of March because I have to leave the person I'm house sitting for is coming back and then I'll actually be coming back here in April because she's going away for another three weeks in April anyway it's gonna get a lot more travely a lot more fun in March so I, I think I'm gonna start the daily vlogging again even though that the daily vlogging adds a lot of uh, extra stuff to do on my plate when I commit to doing it daily it also makes me have to be more efficient with my time and the other stuff that I work on whether it's my paid gigs or my passion projects or whatever so I think I want to add it in not just because I enjoy doing the video editing and everything but because it really helps me out actually in getting stuff done and I think it's fun to to connect with you guys in that way I would love to find more people that that want to come along on my journey and learn about how easy it is to travel full-time while maintaining a vegan lifestyle and anyway I'm headed to Farmington New Mexico right now it's about a 40 minute drive south from where I am at the moment I need to go to FedEx to print out some stuff and fax it to to uh, my bank. So you're gonna come with me to Farmington. favorite little place to get uh, mocha. I don't know if they have uh, locations outside of Durango and Aztec, maybe one down in Farmington, but I've only been to the one, one of the ones in Durango and then the one here uh, in Aztec. And the staff is always so super nice and their mocha lattes are great. They use an, a chocolate mix that doesn't have any dairy in it and then they offer coconut milk or almond milk. So, barista guy asked for my number. <laughs> I always see him almost every time I go there. I mean, I've been helped by other people that work there too. And we've been chatty the last few weeks, but uh, yeah, totally asked for my number this time. And he might be watching this too. So, hello. <laughs> On to Farmington. Is that real? No. There's a like an elk. Oh, it's not real. An elk carving that totally looked real. Anyway, I had to put my phone down quick because there was a cop and I don't know how he would have felt about vlogging while driving. No, I don't think this is a FedEx that has a... This does not look like a FedEx that has a printer, print center or fax. That is a no-go. 
I should have known better because the one, the FedEx in um, Durango is the same way. It's just a ship center. I'm gonna try this click it place and see what happens. Look good. I don't know, it looks kind of. Walked into Click It. They do like screen printing and shirts and things. The guy said, oh yeah, FedEx sends people here all the time. It's five bucks per page if you wanna print. That was silly. I found an office depot a few miles from here. Let's go see if that works. The name of the place I was going to is Office Depot, and I know that they're real because I've been to them before. The GPS took me to the Home Depot, which is a place for hardware, construction supplies, not office supplies. I double-checked the address. Apparently, Google Maps and Yelp both agree that Home Depot equals Office Depot here in Farmington. Decided to take a chance at Best Buy to see if they would do something like that. They don't, which I knew already. But it turns out there is an Office Depot. They moved. The guy at Best Buy told me where to find them. Hope is not lost! Office Max, formerly Office Depot, once in a different location. I was able to print and fax. All right, time to get some gas and then head back to Aztec. Wow, I never thought that printing and faxing something would be such an adventure. Thanks for coming with me. guys, I made it back to my place here in Aztec. I'm gonna have some dinner, do some more work, and then call it a night. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, please remember to eat well and travel often.